Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update. Um, close to halfway through the install on these uh, five inch rear blocks from Rough Country. Just wanted to kind of show you the difference between uh, the regular, just uh, universal style block that Rough Country sells versus the anti-wrap block that came with the kit. By the way, if you're gonna ever think about switching blocks, I suggest investing in some decent sized jack stands. I got these six tons from Harbor Freight. Make it so much easier, especially if you got a lifted truck. I've got some three tons in here that they just wouldn't even get it high enough so I had to go get some six but I'm sure it'll be worth the money I'll use them plenty so the other side had the the new block the normal five inch rough country block and here is the 5.75 inch um, anti wrap block to prevent axle wrap See, it's got these extra little bolt-on pieces that clamp onto the leaves. And that's what makes it the anti-wrap. I've also heard this style block makes it ride stiffer. So, once I get everything mounted up, I'll let you know if it actually does or if I can tell. Or I'm not super picky on my rides, so I may not be able to tell. But I just wanted to kind of show you what the what the difference looks like between the normal five inch four inch three inch the normal block versus the anti-wrap on the other side before I get both of this style mounted up going pretty good so far I've only been in it about 30 minutes um, if you've never done it before pretty much with the tires on still obviously you'll jack up the rear end I use a floor jack under the rear differential. You're gonna jack that up um, just enough to get the tires off the ground. And you'll take the wheels and tires, take those off, and then I go the rest of the way up. I go up a, a pretty good bit. That jack stands almost run all the way out um, just to make sure I can drop the axle down low enough to get um, to get the old blocks out from under it without it being completely on the ground um, but you get that jacked up put those under the frame rail just towards the back of it where it's still flat and then you come back here you'll loosen up your u-bolts and in that style block over there obviously you'll take the uh, extra little leaf clamps off Loosen those up, take the U-bolts out, and then you'll lower the floor jack or whatever you use to prop up the axle. You'll lower that, and the axle will fall down from the spring, and then you'll be able to pull this block out. And from there, especially if you're going down a block size like I am, it's easier. You don't have to do anything because you've already got plenty of clearance to get your new block in. So... I'll let you guys know how it goes once I'm done. Thanks.